my hair is disgusting i am in osaka i love this kind of vending machines here these vending machines in the streets are so cute love how in korea and japan don't have sidewalks so you just walk in the street <laughs> you just walk literally where the lines are and it's just like i don't know it. yeah i'm trying to get used to it this is the shinshaibashi area it's like little streets and I'm heading towards the main area that's kind of busy, but I'm excited. That's kind of like the popular street where I'm going. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna see if I can film a little bit. and it's really nice but I think I'm getting a bit like I don't know if it's all the traveling or for all the light and noises from the city but I'm getting a bit like overwhelmed I think I'm gonna make my way to a place called America Mura and then I'm just gonna go back to my hotel <laughs> so cute all the restaurants are so cute I love all the vibes <laughs> Avenue near America Mora and it's so cute. It's a bit more modern. It's so pretty here. I think it's like one of my favorite spots. Look at this. Wow. It's really nice. Very Christmassy. Morning. It's day two in Osaka and I'm going to Osaka Castle and then I have to go to Kyoto. What really shocked me about Osaka is that everyone is on a bike and the amount of bikes that are here. I wasn't expecting that, I don't know why. I'm trying to find a nice cafe to have some breakfast. I like discovering like cafes and stuff. So I'm trying to look if there's like an interesting one. So yeah, we'll see. to Kyoto. I'm craving ramen, like true Japanese ramen. Found this restaurant near my hotel, but they open at six and it's four. So I'm gonna go to a coffee shop or something to just wait for a bit. Seems to be like really, really good. The Japan so far has been like really, really nice, but I'm exhausted all the time from all the traveling. Just gonna find a coffee shop and then wait for the ramen. Little like restaurants that 
our like typical Japanese side. So you know, there's one. Second day, today I'm gonna go to the other side of the town because there are some cute souvenir shops there. I'm like in a nice little bridge and it's really nice. It's a nice day, but it's getting colder, so I'm suffering. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for today. Woke up a little bit late, but I was so tired, so yeah. so nice finding like this little alleyways here when you can like walk and find like cute little restaurants and it's really nice to walk around yeah i am now in this really nice chill area of kyoto and all the all the all the shops have like cute little fountains and stuff and like it's so chill I just love all the Japanese architecture my eyes are crying by the way it's so cold I'm going to try to find nice little Japanese stuff for my home so cute so nice yeah morning it's day three in Kyoto I am currently going to a temple that's supposed to have like a really nice view but I found this street that I think is like really cute I'm so excited I love Kyoto like it's so nice here um, so yeah I'm just gonna go for a little walk and then yeah let's see what the streets have in store so yeah
y'all. I'm leaving the hotel, so I'm gonna go to Jinza to just see around. I'm so excited to be here, oh my god! Tokyo is kind of like New York meets Seoul and those are two of my favorite cities so I'm like really happy about this it's because it's Saturday or something but they closed down the main avenue so you can walk here I like it I like it here <laughs> I'm so tired you can see my eyes are really really tired i'm gonna go to shibuya shibuya this street is so cute um yeah i'm gonna take this subway now <laughs> really happy so yeah i hope you enjoyed it and it was fun i liked i liked japan so i hope you enjoyed this and see you next time